Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we've got one for the beginners. I'm going to show you how to line your text boxes up so the numbers and the dates and the currency all look aligned inside the text boxes. All right, it's easy to line the text box itself up, but if you look inside there, you got a little extra space. See that? We're going to make it look all nice and pretty, just like that one. Okay? All right, here we go. Today's question comes from Brandon in Tustin, California, one of my Platinum members. Brandon says, I've got a column of vertical text boxes on a form. Some of these boxes are formatted as currency and some as dates. The currency values leave extra space to the right for potential parenthesis of negative numbers. But the date values do not, causing the column to look misaligned. How can I add some space to the right of the text boxes containing date values make the column appear neatly aligned. Well, Brandon, we can do that very easily by setting a margin inside those date values or number values or whatever other ones aren't lining up. Because you guessed it correctly, if you use the currency data type, right, you're gonna have parentheses around this guy. And so it leaves a little extra space here for that parenthesis if it's negative, which these guys don't have that problem. So we're just gonna add a little padding in here, a little, well, not padding, we're gonna add margin in here. <laughs> Padding's a different thing. Okay, and let's see how we can do that. Here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can get off my website if you want to. And in here, I've got a customer form. And right here, I've got three number fields aligned. Now, me personally, I'm a left aligned guy. I, I don't really like lining stuff up to the right, but I know most people like to line stuff up to the right. So let's move this out of the way for a second here. And let's take these guys and let's left align those values. So I'll come up here to format. And if you don't know what I just did, I normally keep my ribbon collapsed, especially when I'm recording videos, because I don't want to see all that stuff. But if you double click, it opens it up like that. So you can keep this open now. Okay. All right. So select these and then we'll hit right align. And then what I'll do at this point is I'm going to save it and close it and open it back up so I can make sure it's looking good. Okay, good. Now you can see the problem I got there, right? All right. These guys are right up against the edge of the text box. This guy, if it were negative, it would look like that. See, it would have the little parentheses. There's still a little bit extra space in there. All right, but I'm going to get rid of that. And we'll leave it just like this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some margin to these two text boxes. So right-click, Design View. I'm going to open this up a little bit so you can see it's more. I'm going to select both of these guys just by drawing a box that touches them, just like that. You don't have to go all the way around them. A lot of people think you got to go all the way around them, and I just accidentally grabbed more than I meant. Just draw a box that just touches them, just like that. Okay, now on the format tab, if you don't have the property sheet up, by the way, right click on either one of these guys and pick properties. In fact, I'll show you, it's way at the bottom. Right click, and you have to go all the way down here to properties, and then I'll bring up that property window or, or close it. I had it open, so I'll click on it again. It just toggles it on and off. All right, so with these two selected, I'm gonna come over here, go to format, and we're gonna find margins. Where are they, right here. Top, bottom, left, right, margins, which is different from padding. Don't worry about padding. I'll cover padding in a different video. What we want to do is give, the, give these guys a right margin, something very small, maybe 0.1. Let's see what that looks like. All right, save it. I'm going to close this and open it back up again. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit too much. Maybe let's scale it down a little bit. Back to design view. All right, and it, oops. And again, let's open this up. Select these two, find that right margin right there. If you click on it over here, by the way, it selects the value over there instead of you having to click in here and do that. Let's go 0 0.09. All right, now when you do that, it changes it to 0 0.0903. Ah, there's a, th a thing called twips and it's gotta be exact. And there's a lot of reasons why. Just get the, as close as you can without me going into a scientific explanation as far as, far as why those numbers change. In fact, let's do, uh, let's do 0 0.08, 0 0.08, there we go. And then that changes it to 0 0.0799. All right, let's see what that looks like. Close it, open it. That's almost, almost right. Maybe just a touch less, just a little teeny tiny bit less. Let's come in here, select them again. Let's go 0 0.07. All right, 0 0.0701. Let's see what that looks and there we go that's almost perfect there you go so these guys have a little bit of a margin next to them and this one does not and you can do the same thing with left margins right margins top margins all that stuff okay 
Okay. If you like learning about this stuff, I cover all kinds of different form formatting techniques in my beginner series. You can start with Microsoft Access Beginner Level 1. It's absolutely free. It's four hours long. It teaches you all the basics, everything you need to know to get started. And I got lots more beginner, expert, advanced, and developer lessons. So if you want to learn Access, I'm your guy. I got lots of lessons for you on my website. Check them out, people. You'll find links down below. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and 
everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.